All right, guys, welcome to Total Body. My name is Jenny, and let's get started. Yeah, the link, like I said, the link to the music is over there in the comments. I'm going to turn mine on, and then we'll get going. All right, hopefully you can't hear my music. You'll only be able to hear it if you turn it on on your end. Yes? Good. Here we go. Pull back. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Good. Pretty simple. Heel to your bum. Pull down. Good. Heel dig, here we go. Flex your feet, flex your hands. Good, breathe. All right, jumping jacks, here we go. Remember, you can be right here or full jumping jacks, up to you. Your workout. All right, skis front and back. From the side, this is what it looks like. You can always be right here, yes? Good, keep going. Good, pull back. Good. Awesome. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Fall down, here we go. Knee up. Good. Heel dig, flex your heels. Good. All right, jumping jacks, here we go. Up. Remember, you choose your option. All right, and skis forward and back. Elbows pull into your sides. Remember, from the side, this is what it looks like. <coughs> Good, pull back, last time, last round. Should be starting to feel warm. Awesome, pull down. Remember, you can go slower or faster, up to you. Good, heel dig. Really flex into those hands. Last set of jumping jacks, here we go with a warm up. All right, skis, hold it back. All right, squat in the middle. Now, if you want, you can just do squats. You can take out that little jump in the middle, or you can step. Yes, options. Good, just squat, down and up, here we go. Hands can be right here. Make it a little easier, if you wanna make it harder, take your hands off. Good, breathe. Awesome. Low and hold, feet can step a little bit wider, stretch into one shoulder. 
or you can just press these legs apart, up to you. Good, breathe. Turn for lunges, get set up, make sure you feel sturdy, roll your shoulders back, here we go, down and up. Awesome. While we're warming up, check out that form. Make sure that this knee is going straight down, right? We're not going like this. Don't do this. This way, bend it straight to the ground. This knee doesn't go past your toes. Check it out. You should still be able to see your toes when you drop down. Low and hold, see your toes. Good, arm that goes with this back leg. Thumbs up, lean into that front leg, breathe. Awesome, other shoulder, or you press your legs apart like this, or drop that shoulder. Breathe. Awesome, turn it to the side. Get it set up for those lunges, roll your shoulders back, nice and tall, straight down, here we go. Down and up. Now if you want, you can always have a chair close by, if balance is kind of not your thing today, it's okay. Bring that chair into the mix. Work on that form. Good, low and hold. Put this hand on your back leg. And that goes with this leg that's extended. Lean in. Good, breathe. Should be getting a nice stretch right all through here. Good, turn it forward. Feet are nice and wide, heels in, toes out. Two, and two. Two, and two. Sit it back a little bit. Awesome, add that arm if you want. Really opening up that chest, warming up those shoulders. All right, stick with your doubles or change to the singles. Here we go. Good. Good, straighten your knees, roll it up. Good, hands on your waist, arch down. Hands on the floor, breathe. Heels face back, toes face forward. Roll it up. Good, march it out. All right, you should be pretty warm by now. If you're not, turn off your air conditioner. Open your door. Does the trick for me. All right. All right, we're gonna start with those high knees forward. All right, so go ahead and walk it back. So you have enough room to go forward. If your space is longer this way, obviously you can go this way, yes? All right. Hands to the same hip, yes, as you walk it forward. Knee up, hands to the same hip. Walk it back. Good, you can keep going. Make it faster, up to you. I'm taking four forward, four back. That's what kind of space I have. I'm gonna guess that's what kind of space you're working with. Take it back. And forward, up. Awesome, take it back. Take it up. Awesome, lean side. You're gonna lift this leg off the ground. We're coming into our balance already. Breathe. Good, stay here. Engage your core. Try not to hold on to anything. The ground is there if you need it. Point and flex. Flexion in that foot. Breathe. Strengthening your muscles around that ankle. So when you step off the sidewalk or something wrong, it's not game over for you, right? Point in place. Breathe. Working on that balance too. You gotta keep breathing. Awesome, let's hit the reset button side to side. Here we go. 
So between all of our exercises, especially the really hard ones, we're gonna just do this side to side motion. So we keep moving, but we can kind of just clear our minds and clear our bodies of what we just did. So we can start fresh for the next one, yes? <sighs> Breathe. All right, lean over to one side. Balance on your leg. Good, engage your core. Point flex, here we go. Point and flex. Point and flex. Point and flex. Point and flex, you got it. Just prepare yourself mentally. This means cardio is coming up, yes? You got it, you got it, you got it. Don't hold on, that makes it harder. You need to make it easier, hold on. Otherwise, don't hold on. Good, shake it out, side to side. All right, we are gonna start with burpees for our cardio. I'm just gonna throw you right in there. No worries though, we do have an easier option if you need to take it. All right, burpee breakdown, here's how it works. So full burpee is, you're gonna squat down, put your hands right here, jump those feet back, jump them in, stand all the way up, you can do a little jump right here, and then do it again, yes? So down, back, down, and up, that's one. Okay, if you need to, go down on your hands, walk it back, walk it up, lift up on those toes. Yes, same difference. If you really want, you can always come to the edge of that couch, walk your legs out long, walk them back up, lift up on those toes. Yes? All right, you choose your option. We're gonna go, and you're just gonna enjoy. Life is gonna be great, ready? Here we go. You got it, breathe. Remember your options. Take whatever combo of the options that you need or want. If you don't have a couch, you can always just squat, lift up. Squat, you can step back, step back, lift up, right? Squat, step back, back, lift up. Up to you. Good, keep going. Good, let it go, side to side. Breathe. Whew. Nice, full body workout there. All righty. We're gonna have another round of those, so really let your heart rate come down. Take whatever option you want. I'm gonna take the non-hand option just to get some variety in my workout. So if you want and you wanna follow me, Go ahead and come with me on that. Otherwise, you remember your options, yes? All right, just about ready. Should be. Looking at our clock. All right, ready? Here we go. So I'm gonna squat down, step back as I stay low, and then lift up on my toes, yes? Squat down, step back, step back, lift up, yes? Lift up. Good. You got it. Few more, you got it. Hang in there, especially if you're doing the full ones. Awesome, side to side, let it go. Ah. <sighs> All right, we're gonna do walking squats. So you can choose if you want, if you want a chair nearby or you wanna sit, be seated for this. If you're seated for this, you're gonna lift those knees up and down. You can go both at the same time or lifting one knee at a time, yes? Otherwise, we're gonna walk it out. What this means, come to one side of your room, squat low, walk together, walk, walk together, walk, stand, yes? Side, together, side, together, stand. Good, start when you're ready. Good. Try to stay nice and loaded, nice and low. 
Awesome. Keep going. You got it. Breathe. Keep going. Excellent. You got it. Stay nice and loaded. Squeeze at the top. Good, last time. Go back. Stand up, side to side. Nice. Breathe. Excellent. All right, we're gonna jump rope. There's so many ways to jump rope, right? So, you can literally just do kind of like a light jog right here, just working on some wrist circles, okay? You can do a double bounce. You can go double bounce side to side. Yes, pick your option and go when you're ready. So my, my feet don't even have to leave the ground, right? Just my heels are kind of bouncing up and down. If you want though, challenge yourself. Toes leave the ground. Yes? Good, breathe, keep going. Whatever you do, get some nice wrist circles in. Maybe go the other way. Awesome, keep going, you got it. Remember, you can always be just right here. Good, keep going. Awesome, side to side, let it go. Perfect. Awesome. We're gonna come into some knee pulls. This is again cardio, but this is a cardio tone option. Kind of like our burpees, that just seems to be the trend today, yes? Combining them so we get the most out of our time together. Let your heart rate come down though. Awesome. All right. Roll those shoulders back. Feet are going to face forward, whatever forward is for you. And then hunker down like you're going to ski. Yes. Stay here. Knee's going to pull. One knee. So find your balance. You can do both hands in or you can do runner arms. Yes. So as my right knee comes up, my left arm comes up. This is totally an option. Or you can do both at the same time, depending on your coordination. And when you're ready, you can go as fast as you want on those knee pulls. But think about it, it's more of like a knee pull, right? We're not just doing a running here, which we've done before. Really pulling that knee into your chest. Good, breathe. You go as fast or as slow as you want, go. Make it a challenge for you. Breathe. All one leg, yes? You got it, pull that knee up, knee up, knee up. Good, let it go, woo! Awesome. Nice, got some balance in there too, yeah? Let your heart rate come down. We got another side. Roll those shoulders out, give some shrugs. All right. Go ahead and set up for the other side, feet face forward, roll your shoulders back. Down you go, like you're sitting in a chair. Lay behind your knee, pull, here we go, pull. You can go slow to begin with. Figure out the motion, figure out the balance, figure out what you're gonna do with those arms. And then when you're ready, go as fast as you want. Just stay knee into the chest, knee in, knee in. Good, breathe. Breathe, you got it. Knee in. Keep going, you got it. Awesome, let it go, side to side. Whew. Excellent. Ooh. 
Ah. Uh, all right, if you need water, you can go ahead and grab it, especially on these breaks where we're just going side to side. Let your heart rate come down a little bit first, then go ahead and grab water. All right. Awesome, static hold, you did a lot of cardio. So, heels are in, toes are out, nice wide plie squat, so my bones going straight down, not sitting back, yes? Straight down if you can, roll your shoulders back. Flex your hands as if you're about to palm a basketball. Press forward. Stay low if you can. Belly button to your spine, engage. Try to keep your shoulders from doing this. Head up. Good, you got it. Just hang out, enjoy the music. If you didn't turn the music on, now you can wish you did. Enjoy the sounds in your head. <laughs> Good, flip your hands to face the back, press back. Breathe, you got it. If you have hand weights, this will get hard pretty fast. You got it, breathe. Ooh. All right, here we go. Up, down, up, good. Reach up, pull down, up, pull down. Now you can have hand weights here. I don't. Squeeze your fist. That'll really energize those arms. You can create your own resistance. It's pretty incredible how much resistance you can create without holding on to anything. Really squeeze your fist, pull the power down like you're swimming through a pool create that resistance, like you're pulling through water, yes? Like you're super powerful. Get along, Good. All right, breathe. Are you still squeezing your fist? Yes. Good, low and hold, side to side. Now, if you want, you can be right up here. Straighten those knees, coming into your hip socket, or be right here. Good, you got it. How are those legs doing? Maybe come back down if you came up. Again, this can be done from right here, right? But if you can, load it up. Squeeze those fists. Belly button to your spine, suck it in. That'll help engage your back as well. Good, you got it. Good, stay with this motion or add that punch. You got it. Working on it, working on it. Last thing in this squat and then I'll get you out, ready? Down and up, down and up. So obviously with your feet wider, it's gonna be easier. So if you wanna make it harder, step in, set your bum to the back, yes? Good. Reaching for that ground. Try to squat down, keeping your chest lifted. So we're not just like reaching over, right? Although that would be a great hamstring stretch. That's just not what we're doing right now. Good, breathe. You got it. Awesome. One more. Awesome, side to side. Excellent, now's a good time to grab a drink. We're gonna take just a tiny bit of a longer break because we just did a really long set. Go ahead and grab your water. Cool, meet me back here when you're ready.
Awesome. We're gonna do pull across. So feet are nice and wide. Ready? Reach up, pull down. Reach up, pull down. So it's really important that you bend into this knee. Yes, if you wanna add extra, you can bend into that knee as well. Good, we're gonna find a cardio version of this eventually. So notice if you need to, hand is right here. So you can reach down and touch that ground. If you don't need it, both hands can reach down, yes? Can you add a little bit of turn in your upper body, facing the direction you're going? Good. You're gonna really feel this. Excellent exercise for your back. So if you've hurt your back, just be right here, yes? Throw it across. This is still gonna be a great stretch for your back. Not as much muscle usage though, yeah? So if your back is good, keep using it. Good, let it go. So you keep it nice and strong, yes? Good. <sighs> Not too bad, yeah? I forgot to show you the up. The up level on that one, if you wanted it. It's okay, we have another side, that's the beauty of it. Here we go, feet are nice and kind of wide, yes. Bending in, reaching across. Reach down, reach across. Again, important, bend into this knee, this one's optional. That bend in that second knee is extra. Feel free to do it, now if you want, you can add a lift. Yes, that's your up option. Complete up option is if you add that hop. Yes. If you really value symmetry, you didn't do it on the other side. Good, make sure you're turning that chest. Remember, if you need to, hand is on this thigh as you reach down. Good. We did quite a few of them. Breathe. Last one. Let it go. Good. You guys should be doing pretty good. Yes? A lot of maintenance. Sometimes we go out and we run a trail or something, you know, and it really takes it out of us. Sometimes we need to do all these, what we call functional movements, just so that normal things like vacuuming doesn't become cumbersome, yeah? And it just frees us up to be able to do those hard things. But it's not like killing us every single week, right? That's what grit's for. All right, you guys ready? Here's the cardio version. We're gonna step forward, and step behind you, step forward, step behind you. So this leg becomes a lever, yes? This one's moving. Almost like you're rowing. Now if you want, that lever leg can start to lift up off the ground. You got it. Especially in that lean back, you really get into those abs and that back. Really in by that hip. You got it. Good, side to side, let it go. Awesome. Yeah, another set. Here you go, forward and back. Forward and back. Make this leg a lever to begin with, so you can really get that knee bend, figure out the shoulder situation, 
If you have weights in your hands, this is also excellent. Or that water bottle, or those cans. Good, maybe start picking up that other foot. Just get a nice little weight transfer there. Good. Nice. Good, let it go. All right, let's take it up for some cardio, yes? So your hands are gonna be doing this, palms face me. Just up and down, yes? Up, two, three, four, up, two, five, up, four, five, up. Good, just throw a knee in there every now and then. We're gonna up it, you guys ready? All knees, here we go. Now remember, you can be right here, yes? Keep going, you got it. Good, let it go, side to side. Nice, nice, breathe. Whew. Awesome. All right, let's work on our arms. So find the edge of a chair, we're doing push-ups. So remember like last week, you can either be on your wall, right? You're right here. That's gonna be level one, yes? You can be on the edge of your couch doing the same exact thing, or you can join me on the floor. Be on your hands and feet or your knees. Up to you. Regular push-ups, ready? Here we go. Down and up. Good, breathe, you got it. Perfect. Awesome, get off your hands wherever you're at. If you're standing, just pace back and forth, side to side. Otherwise, roll out the shoulders. Excellent, we're gonna hold a plank. You can hold it on the wall, your couch, or the ground, yes? I'm gonna do forearm plank, so I would suggest your couch or the ground. Good. Excellent, here we go, hold it. Good, if you're on the ground, you can drop one knee at a time, drop, and lift, drop, and lift, alternating, drop, and lift, drop, and lift, breathe. Try to get your bum down. Good, let it go wherever you're at. Excellent. We're gonna do tricep push-ups, so that means that your elbows are tracking in close by your side, yes? Again, wall, couch, floor, knees or toes. We're gonna do approximately 10, but you do however many you can. Remember, I'd rather you have full range of motion here than just being like doing little ones like this, yes? So if it takes you the full time to do one, that's what I want you to do. All right. Get set up wherever you're gonna be and go. Hands under your shoulders. Good, breathe. You got it. Awesome. Set it back, make your way down to the floor if you haven't already. Yes, come on to your bum. 
Excellent, we have some nice boat pose coming your way. All right, so here's the deal. Legs lift. Now if you want, you can have your toes on the ground, heels on the ground. Whatever you do, you're gonna sit nice and tall and you're just gonna lean back as far as you want until you feel your abs engage. So here's the deal, is like, I'm actually getting a pretty good ab engagement just right here with my heels on the ground. Maybe this is you today. Roll those shoulders back. We're kind of sitting up nice and tall. Good. You want, maybe lift those feet off the ground. We're gonna extend one and back. Extend and back. Extend and back. Extend and back. Try not to hold on to your legs. If you need to, you can, right, like this. But you're gonna try to really use your abs. So you can be right here. Especially if your heels are on the ground, maybe don't tap that heel down. Just let it hover, bring it back. Hover, bring it back. Yes? Really working in our legs as well. And our abs. If you feel that spine start to round, strengthen it once again, straighten up. Excellent, relax for a second. Sit up nice and tall. I just kind of came into cobbler's pose or butterfly. It's a loose version of it. I feel like my muscles right here are really like telling me how they feel about this thing. So, all right, ready? Roll your shoulders back. We're gonna full boat. So, here's what happens. You can put your hands behind you and you can go out and in just like this. Yes? Or maybe you do one at a time. Okay, or you full boat, rocking out and in. You go flat and up, flat and up, flat and up. Trying to keep your knees together. Go when you're ready. Hopefully you've already started. Breathe. You got it, breathe. Good, let it go. Sit up nice and tall, whatever feels good. Good, breathe. Excellent. All right, we're gonna roll all the way down onto the ground. If you're like on the floor and you realize you haven't cleaned this floor in a while and you're like, really don't wanna be on the ground, you can be supported just like this, yes? Otherwise, down you go. Good, legs up. So if you're in supported, you can solve those legs up, yes? All right, one drops and up. One drops and up. Good, breathe. Now if you need to make this easier, you're just gonna bend those knees, tapping that foot down and up, yes? Just creates a shorter lever for you. Totally optional. Good, you got it. Now if you need to make it harder, you can always go both at the same time. Good, breathe. Really exhale as your legs come up. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, and exhale. Good. Again, remember, you can be doing one at a time here, or both at the same time, or knee bent. Keep going. Awesome, hug those knees into your chest, or just let your feet go. Whew. Excellent, feet come to the ground, bridge pose. Feet are nice and flat, hips are gonna lift up. Ready, up and down, up and down. You got it. So either lead with your quads or lead with your bum. What do I mean by that? You can squeeze your quads and use that to pull you up or you can squeeze your butt and that's what's gonna get you that nice lift. Either way, they just work two different muscle groups or you can engage all of it, use all of it evenly. Whatever you need to more work on. 
I can tell you if your hips often hurt, it's probably because you need to work on your butt muscles. So go ahead and do that now. Awesome, let it go. Maybe hug those knees in if that feels good to you. Just take a little active rest here. Excellent, all right, we're gonna move into crunches. You can do crunches or full sit-ups, up to you. Hands to your temples or cradle your head, but don't pull on your neck. Here we go, crunches or full sit-ups, up to you. Full sit-ups are like this, yes. Good, you choose, or you can just do crunches. Make sure you're still breathing. Good, let it go. Sit up however you want. Come to a nice comfortable seat. Awesome. Again, feet can be on the ground, heels on the ground, or you can be lifted, up to you. We're gonna do some twists. So roll the shoulders back, lean back until your abs engage. Here we go, side to side. If you need to make it harder, take one or both feet off the ground. Good, keep going. Excellent, let it go. All right, we got one more set of push-ups and then we're gonna stretch it out, sound good? All righty, so you choose. You can be on knees. If you're already down here, you might as well stay down here. If you needed that wall option earlier, you're simply gonna take your face to the ground and leave your hips where they're at. Otherwise, you can do toes or regular knee push-ups. Ready, here we go. One more. Good, excellent, sit it back, child's pose. Knees can be underneath you or it can spread your knees so your tummy comes between your legs, breathe. Awesome, come up if you can. Go ahead and take one leg out. Coming into a lunge right here. Knee can be lifted or stay on the ground, up to you. Good, send it on back, straighten that front leg. Pop up those front toes, breathe. Good. Breathe into that leg. Good, rotate on back through. Awesome. Take your knee off the ground, switch out your feet, however you wanna do that. Good, lunge with your back knee off or down, up to you. Good, breathe. Let those hips sink down. Good, send it on back, straighten that front leg, toes pop up. Breathe it out. Awesome, take that knee back behind you, go ahead and come to a nice comfortable seat. Legs are out nice and long in front of you. Flex your feet if you can. Inhale up and reach over. You can grab your toes or anywhere along your leg. 
As long as you're getting a good stretch, that's what matters. Good. Take both legs in. Soles of your feet together. Good. You can lean forward if you'd like or just sitting out here and stretch those legs apart. Good. Breathe. Awesome. You got it. Good, legs out long, take one up. Take this hand behind you, the one that corresponds with your bent knee. Put it on the ground behind you. Just sit you up nice and tall. And then you're gonna take this hand and just twist towards that bent leg. Good, if you need more of a stretch, you can always hook that elbow. Excellent. Switch out those legs. That one goes long. This one bends. Hand behind you. Sit nice and tall. Twist over that leg. You can always just hang on right here and pulling that leg closer to you, or you can hook it. Excellent. We're going to take figure four, which I think is better from the ground. So go ahead and lay down if that's accessible. Leg goes up and over. You can be right here flexing this top foot or reach through, grab behind that leg and do a nice stretch right here. Good. Simply release that leg, unstack, put both feet on the floor, other leg goes up, flex that foot, cross it over, that top leg, reach through. Good. Stretch it towards you. Breathe. Awesome. Breathe through any tension, any tightness. Good, breathe it out, beginning to slow it down. Good, let that go. Knees up, kind of into your chest, arms out to a T. Let your legs fall to one side. Okay, come back through the center. And go to the other side. And come back through center. And then you can either lay flat and close your eyes and begin to breathe, or you can sit up, nice, comfortable, cross-legged position. When you get there, sit up nice and tall. Close your eyes. Let your hands rest on your legs. Just 
begin to breathe. Big inhale. And exhale. Now the music might still be going and it seemed pretty crazy, but try to find that calm in the storm. This is how you do life, right? Learning to breathe no matter what's going on around you. Sitting up nice and tall. Relax your face. Relax your shoulders, relax your agenda. Just be present. Know that your rest is as equally as important as your intensity. And you need to have that balance. And I know after this class, you're gonna be energized to get up and go get some things done. But for now, just be. See if you can just be and breathe. Think of one thing that you're grateful for. Maybe you have a whole laundry list. I really hope that you're grateful for where you're at, your abilities, the fact that you can be here in this moment. that you can hear me or see me or whatever. You have access. It's a beautiful thing. You are a beautiful thing. And I hope that you have a wonderful day. Yeah, and enjoy. You're all done. All right, thank you. I'm glad you came. <laughs>